Brian Fisher is going to demonstrate the scariest kind of Christian fundamentalism there is. This is basically a cry for a biblical theocracy. According to Romans 13, somebody who has public office is a minister of God. Three times Paul uses that term in Romans 13. A public official is a minister of God. He is standing in God's place because exercising civil authority is a God-like function, and the authority that he has, he derived from God. And therefore, he has a responsibility to use that authority in a manner that is consistent with the truth of God. If, if homosexuals want to have their own ceremonies, they can call them anything they want. But insisting that the government recognize those and agree with them, that's not something they've got a right to demand of us because the responsibility of, of those in civil authority is to only approve that which God approves and to stand against that which he rejects. Man, it's so sad. It's so easy to, to respond to all of Brian Fisher's points because they're always so bad. Like, none of his arguments are even mildly convincing, even to people who would consider themselves conservative Republicans, because, I mean, he's just so in your face with his religiosity. You heard what he said there. To, in his mind, a good government is not, for example, a democracy, a representative democracy that follows what the people want, that it implements into law the opinions of the people. And then, of course, you could also have a constitution which lays out rights, which is separate from, you know, the, the majority opinion of people and the laws that are implemented. He doesn't know. To him, democracy is following God's law. But, of course, he doesn't mean your God. He doesn't mean any uh, other possible God, whether it's, you know, the God of the Quran, whether it's the God of the Bhagavad Gita, whether it's the gods of Greece or the Roman gods, whether we're talking about Scientology or Mormonism or any other religion, Shinto. No, no, he's, he's all, my God. Not, and not just my God, only my interpretation of my God. So he's basically a fascist. That's what it is. Whatever I want, I want to put into law, and whatever anybody else wants, blow me, I don't care. Actually, you can't blow me. God wouldn't like that. But uh, we can have missionary sex, and that's it. I mean, he's such a sad person. And keep in mind, this is exactly what the Taliban says. And uh, what would that entail exactly? People never take the time to actually break this down. What would happen if you implemented biblical law to the letter? Well, uh, I did a little bit of research earlier and looked up a whole bunch of different biblical laws. Now, keep in mind, this is still just a partial list, but this is what you'd have to do uh, if you really wanted to implement a Christian theocracy. You would have to ban pork, bacon, oysters, clams, mussels, crab, shrimp, lobster. You can't eat any of those things, and you would be put to death if you did. You also have to outlaw all fat. You cannot consume any fat. Now, that's nearly impossible, but it is a biblical law, so sorry you have to do it. You have to outlaw all types of torn clothes, like ripped jeans, for example. You have to outlaw all kinds of mixed fabrics. You're only allowed to wear pure fabrics. Guess what? A majority of the clothing industry in the world today is mixed fabric. All of those would have to be banned. You have to outlaw haircuts. You have to ban shaving. You have to ban tattoos, fortune telling, pulling out if you're having sex and you do the old pull out method. That's banned. You have to ban divorce, wearing gold. Wearing gold is banned. Crossbreeding animals. You have to ban that. You have to ban mistreating foreigners. That's actually a nice one, but Brian Fisher would never be in favor of that. I'm sure he's far right-wing on immigration, but you'd have to ban mistreating foreigners if you actually implemented biblical law. You have to ban selling land. If you own land, you can never sell it, according to the Bible. You have to ban, ban blasphemy. So what I'm doing right now, I would have to be put to death. And again, that's just a partial list. So this is the craziness he likes. Bottom line, Brian Fisher is un-American, quite literally. He disagrees with all of the principles that America was founded on. Uh, he disagrees with the First Amendment. He disagrees with the Establishment Clause. The government shall not establish any religion or favor one religion over, a number, over another. And he disagrees with separation of church and state. 